it, it controls the whole hormonal pathways of women, um, and it talks all the organs that, that down uh, the the, the, um, the thyroid and the ovaries, and it's this, this this awesome, highly complex network which runs um, the whole female hormonal balance. Hey, ah, uh, sorry. Okay, so I'm, I'm a doctor of naturopathic, which is uh, natural medicine. Natural medicine has some certain core tenets and principles, which is purification um, and removing um, elements which hinder and harm health. So basic elements of modern lifestyle, pesticides, chemicals, heavy metals. Um, so in natural medicine, we're very, very concerned with removing elements out of the body that hinder health, but also strengthening and empowering the five main elimination organs in the body, which are intestine, liver, lungs, uh, uh, skin, and kidneys. Now, so Jane, these, these systems are not working properly. People bioaccumulate toxins. So that's one of the foundational things of natural medicine. Uh, so this. And the second foundation is to help out, help people to stop doing the things uh, which are undermining their health or even destroying uh, their health. And then the third tenet is how do we get nutrients into the body? Because uh, everybody's nutrient depleted. Um, how do we get nutrients into the body? And how do we get uh, people to literally understand cause and effect principles as per what they're eating? Um, and there's a price to pay down the, down the road, down the line, uh, for any mistakes in diet and nutrition. So yeah, natural principle. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I've been um, helping clients for nearly 30 years now. And uh, we work with... Uh, uh, very cutting edge diagnostics, uh, but very, very ancient methodologies utilizing uh, plants. And one of my key principles uh, for help is every day endeavor to get as much plant molecules into your body as possible. There you are, in, in, in a nutshell. Um, so I guess today's subject is female female hormones, and um, I think it's going to be very interesting, female hormones, sorry, menopause. Um, it's going to be interesting. I have a lot to say on this matter. Uh, I've seen a lot, um, and um, I've not really had a chance to to uh, express some of the things that I've seen and understand, uh, and some of the, the, the unnecessary suffering that, that people go through. So hopefully this this uh, interview will be very enlightening and, and can really help people, um, uh, many people, in fact. Yeah. Thank you so much to even coming on board. I know you're very busy. And... Oh, yeah, I'm very busy. Can't you? I'm actually on holiday right now. You see, like, <laughs> I'll just come out and have my dip, I'm going to have my dip in the sea uh, as soon as we finish. You know, so I'm quite dedicated. Even on holiday, I'll come to this interview. <laughs> and and we, we know that he's really there because this, the background's moving. Oh, so background. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. um, I just wanted to add to what you just said there. I've actually gone to see um, Dr. Derwin. And I've had a session done with him to see my scanning inside my body, where it was going, you know, what it needed. And it was at, it basically changed my life. inside of us that's what I call it our body is an energy and the the aspects of our bodies because we have to live in this earthly realm where we take on so much stresses and so much everyday lives as humans our body tell us things that we don't even realize so it taps on our door okay well you're going through this right now okay we need a bit of this right now okay we need a bit of that Oh, we're feeling tired right now. We need energy. Oh, our oxygen's low right now. Our body talks to us. And I always say that's our first doctor. Our first doctor is inside. But if we don't know how to connect or we don't know what's going on, then how can we put it right? And the, the things that you do gives us the information, gives us the source that we need to say, still up to us, but it gives us that choice to make a difference.
And yeah. this is what today's interview is going to be about with regards to menopause. It's interesting what you said. You said about the um, um, you're, you're, you're the first doctor. Uh, it's interesting. Let me show you two angles there. Uh, the word doctor is actually from the Latin word docera. Mm. And that word means teacher. So a doctor, in essence, is a teacher. So when you go and see a doctor, uh, the doctor's supposed to teach you why you have the problem and teach you uh, the steps, strategies, information, knowledge you need to exit that problem. Okay, so a lot of times people come to me, so have you seen a doctor? I said, I think you went to see a doctor. No, you didn't see a doctor. Okay, because uh, if you saw a doctor, you'd understand your problem and what to do about it. And what's interesting, because you said the first doctor, your first doctor, is inside. It's, it's you talking to you from inside. Now, when we have that experience, what do we call that? Intuition. Look at two words, intuition. So the teacher within. Okay. So intuition is never wrong, as you know. Anyone's got to 30, 40 years old, they, they, they've learned that the lessons often painfully that that the inner teacher intuition is never wrong. Just we choose to ignore it uh, at our cost. So what's happening, the intuition, the teacher within, is always telling us what to do with regards to health. And it's very fascinating. <laughs> and I say something, since we're doing, doing with that female ocean museum, um, I think 70% at least of my clients are female. And I often wonder why is this? Why, why don't have more male clients? I see more and more male clients coming now in the last few years, but anything that. I, I got to the point where could it be really true? Could women really be smarter than men? And I thought, no, 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 that's not, no, no, forget that, forget that. <laughs> but anyway, yes, <laughs> because women seem to have a, a deeper respect or connection to their intuition, their teacher within. So women tend to listen to the signs and signals and information that the body's bringing, bringing forward. Well, what we do as men, we, we brush it off, say, yeah. I've got dollars to earn, I've got things to do, and I'm busy. I'll, I'll do that later. That will sort itself out. Uh, a lot of times, men will suppress the in tuition, the teacher within. Uh, that's why not, not, not men need a woman in their life who, who's connected to intuition. <laughs> a lot of her intuition is actually working for the man as well. You <laughs> see, a couple of men's blind spots. So, this, this, this is a problem with male health. Uh, you know, uh, males do not listen. Or they ignore or they shut down the intuition with regards to health. You see, well, well, uh, women are more likely to listen to that intuition. But having said that, to balance it out, uh, I think we women have a deeper aspect of intuition or the uh, intuitive faculty is actually more enriched and developed and probably stronger uh, in females. And, and one reason why is that the whole uh, reproductive system is possibly the most advanced system in the whole of creation. So we're talking about the endocrine system, uh, which starts in the hypothalamus in the brain, and it, it, it controls the whole hormonal pathways of women, um, and it talks to all the organs that, that down uh, the, 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 um, the thyroid and the ovaries, and it's this, this awesome, highly complex network which runs um, the whole female hormonal balance and reproductive capacity and capability. Now, to make that more interesting, uh, it's cosmic. Why do I say that? Because that's aligned with lunar or moon cycles. So every every woman has a lunar connection or moon connection. Uh, so this is vibrational energy, uh, which is uh, uh, transcended down uh, through the pituitary uh, gland uh, in the brain, which is the master gland that runs all hormones in the body. So we're talking about some extremely complex biotechnology so it takes 24 hormones to line up within a very narrow time frame which is two days in a month let's say one day this side so it's a max four days a month um in which there's a narrow window before women can conceive um so it's very very interesting very very interesting so uh back 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 in the day doctors uh, you go for a hormone test, a doctor would do what they call a hormone panel. There's 24 hormones. Now they don't do that. And they only do maybe two or three uh, hormones, three or four hormones, major hormones. Um, you know, it's so complex. I haven't got the time, the funding, or even the modern doctors don't have the training to really understand female hormone. I call it order versus disorder. 
Okay, order is disorder. So, sometimes you've got to take out the word health because health is, is like a word that's a maligned word now. What does health really mean? What is health? What is unhealthy? Um, you know? But if we look at it in another context, um, we can define health as order within the nine major body systems. So the hormonal system is a system. It's a very, very complex system. And it's all, it's all run by biochemistry. And the biochemistry is called male hormone, uh, female hormones, which are very highly complex. And a male have female hormone. And females have some male hormone. It's very, very, a bit of the yin in the yang. Uh, it's very, very interesting how, how it all works. Very, very complex. And, how, how, you know? and the, the, the body makes these micro secretions. I mean, they're incredibly tiny secretions of elements which modulate. And so you've got a respiratory system, you've got a digestive system, uh, you've got the muscle skeletal system, okay, uh, you've got the nervous system. So there are nine major systems in the body. So when those systems are, are working properly, and by the way, they, they all have to talk to each other, work together, and coordinate to each other. When they're working properly, we're, we're in it's disorder, and you're cracking along your life, you're not aware uh, of, of your, your body, you're just doing uh, in a negative way. But when we have a health problem, we've now got a disorder. So disorder in one of those systems. So we've got digestive upset, we've got reflux, constipation. Now that is disorder in the digestive system. Uh, we've got, uh, we got muscle, muscle ache, pain, uh, and, 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 and uh, cramping. That's some kind of disorder going on in the mus muscles, muscles system. Okay, we've got joint pain, knee pain, disorder. See? So when we have disorders, that is what we term a health problem. But basically, if you look at it another way, it's a disorder. Well, then we ask us, what is causing that disorder? Okay, that, 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 that's the key thing. So now, if we have disorder, well, the automatic thing is, well, let's get it back into order. So this is the big picture thinking about a lot of these things. Are how do we go from disorder into order? Okay, and then, uh, then that begs the question, well, what caused the disorder? That's what we've got to be asking. What caused that disorder? What have I got to stop doing? What have I got to start doing to go into order? Okay, because remember, we spoke about the teacher within. So the teacher within always talks in the feminine voice initially. It's a male and female. And the feminine voice is a gentle hint, a large, you know, <laughs> a suggestion. And when we bypass those, ignore that, uh, uh, then we go to the other side of feminine voice, which is a feminine masculine voice, which is pain, discomfort. Okay, and we ignore that. That went big wrong. You see? So let's look at disorder in the female reproductive system and our female reproductive disorders are manifest every 30 days for women in childbearing age. And that, that disorder, that, that major manifestation is heavy periods, pain, bloating, um, just uh, disorder, mood problems, uh, uh, just everything that goes wrong for many women on this planet every 30 day cycle, and sometimes two of them. Are, yeah. Now, here's the thing that caused uproar and outrage every time I say this. And, and I said, uh, when the, um, one, one of my students put the uh, video on TikTok, um, and it just caused thousands of reactions when I said that all of that, all of that, it's disorder and not necessary. It's not, no, it's not normal and it's not necessary for any woman to experience one single period symptom. Okay, so here's a mind boggling thing that nobody likes to talk about. Uh, women don't like to talk about it. Uh, that pe that pe period uh, problems, menstrual disorders, problems in period are probably ruin more relationships than infidelity or any other cause. Okay, so this is the big thing after we done. I talk about uh, that for let's say anything from five to seven days, every 30 day cycle, um, something is going severely wrong, which can put a huge strain on relationships. I like that you said that because I would say as high as I can't put a percentage on it, but the percentage is very high. Of, of the cause and effect on the relationship with regards to the time of the month. And I would talk personally because I've been sharing my story throughout these episodes 
is that when I was younger, um, my cycle, monthly cycle, I think I would do two weeks yeah. of being this spiritual, sane, positive person, do what she needs to do, love all, you know, unconditional love, two weeks. After that two weeks, I was Jacko and Hyde, low, um, angry, crying all the time. My emotions were up and down. I had severe period, bad period pains, severe bleeding. I, I did not know what it was like to not be anemic until I would say my early mid thirties. It's very, very fascinating how this whole how conception works. And we've got the moon mind body uh, alignment. So it's actually just so complex. It's, it's, it's actually mind boggling more than people that we even <laughs> we even get for one. <laughs> you see, there's, there's such a complex system. But that complex system is subject to our uh, disorder. And the, 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 the biggest disorder today impacting females are chemicals. Chemicals in the water, chemicals in the food, uh, and chemicals in the uh, pesticides. Now, I want to touch on something here, which links to uh, puberty, uh, menstruating life, uh, reproductive life, and uh, post that menopause and post menopause. Now, excuse me, as a, uh, uh, the biggest problem uh, that women bring on themselves is clean freak syndrome. Say that again. Clean freak syndrome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the, one of the biggest problems that women bring upon themselves. Okay, let me explain. Uh, okay, yes, we love a clean freak. We want a clean house. We love you ladies, keeping the house nice and clean. Left to us, <laughs> it'll be a dump, right? Things upside down, nothing gets clean. Uh, but here's a challenge. We've got a clean house. Here's a challenge, what are you cleaning it with? Okay, so you go into if, I, if you go into the average home, um, and you tell me you've got hormone problems, you have seven day periods, um, you tell me infertility problems, uh, you tell me you've got heavy bloating. Uh, so, was, well, I, 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 I like to come into your house, I like to come into your kitchen, I like to open a cupboard under the kitchen sink, and I'm going to see a large part of the problem. Uh, and it's called Demestos, Daz, Beach, Fairy. Uh, purse or, or whatever all these brand names that they're having they still make all the modern ones are uh these are the ones we grew up with um you know but so people are using all these cleaning products which are hyper toxic almost every single cleaning product including bleach uh you know uh there's any, any jamaicans i know jamaican females love uh, bleach <laughs> so um, so People using bleach, chemicals, cleaners, sprays, antiperspirants, air freshness, clay. This is total insanity. Why? Because all of those chemicals, which are man-made chemicals, by the way, all of them are, are what's known as endocrine disruptors. So they start to mess up the endocrine signaling pathways in the body. Particularly in the pituitary, they can mess up the thyroid as well. They can directly mess up the the, 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 the ovaries. So when you spray something in your house, you use this uh, um, uh, biological uh, uh, you know, wipe, cleaners, uh, but even the soaps, the laundry detergents are some of the worst because you're actually now wearing this chemical and receiving nano particular absorption through the skin. And the worst of that is the uh, fabric conditions. These are hyper toxic chemicals that bioaccumulate in the body and cause Habit. It's called endocrine disruption. Endocrine system does not want chemicals. It wants plant molecules uh, to work with, not man-made chemicals. Now the problem most is endocrine disruptors. Most of them, this is and this is mind bug. I'm, I'm still trying to uh, I, I get my brain around this uh, after under, uh, discovering this many many years ago. Most man-made chemicals um, in their biochemical makeup. Are almost identical to estrogens. Did a research. Most man made chemicals, be they cleaning product chemicals, metabolites, isolates, um, pesticides, or they're spraying on food, most of them are near impossible.
biochemically, they are synthetic estrogens. Uh, so people, maybe you could, people should go and research yourself, endocrine disruption, uh, endocrine, uh, go and research en uh, atrazine, uh, your professor. It was actually a black professor. It's in, we, live in, we live in an uh, age now, it's entirely possible to clean your house with natural products made from natural companies. That's why. So it has a, has a habitual pattern. Uh, they do. So people go shopping as per how they go shopping with their mother and they're growing up. And that, that kind of practice carries on. But those days are gone now. Uh, we don't have to go to the high street. So here's the high street. The high street is now the internet. So you can go yes. to Amazon and um, put in, type in Amazon, natural cleaning products or chemical yes. cleaning products. Uh, a lot of products will come up, uh, especially eco range, uh, which doesn't have the fragrance or the coloring. Uh, and buy natural cleaning products. And straight away, uh, the impact on hormonal systems goes right down when you get rid of all chemical products in the house. And oh, this interview is just fantastic for information. So the cleaning chemical um, side of things needs to go. And what absolutely, about every single one uh, without exception. So you can, you, can, you can clean your house with like white vinegars, uh, soda yeah. vinegars, and a couple of eco products. You know, you know. Now, instead of having the fragrance, remember that they have actual universities. These universities, they come up with new fragrances every single year. They work out these chemicalized fragrances uh, that can actually activate brain pathways and keep people addicted uh, to certain products or evoke a certain sense of emotion based on the product. A lot of times people, they like this fragrance, but they don't realize this fragrance is a total chemical which creates huge uh, amounts of disruption. And um, now what's being underutilized in terms of hormonal balance and health of the body is essential oils. Okay. So essential oils have a huge impact and benefit. So I guess with your cleaning products, are you using essential oils? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So look, look at essential oils. Did you, you know, like say like, let's take one oil, like clary sage. Yes. Yeah? So imagine using clary sage as an air freshener, a diffuser. Yes. The actual clary sage yeah. oil is a hormone balancer. Yeah. Just having your environment using the yeah. body for skincare, it actually will regulate and balance hormones. Spearmint oil, major hormone balancer. Rose, yes. a bit expensive, but hey, uh, hormone balancer. Sage, yes. sage, major female hormone mm -hmm. balancer. So when, when the offerings of plant hormones, plant chemicals, uh, plant compounds, are all the solutions uh, for female hormone balance, Within the, the, the post-industrialized world, uh, chemical factories are all the problems. So people are defaulted to the factory world, the process world, the artificial world, uh, and then uh, uh, the artificiality uh, can just create havoc on very high-order divine systems uh, which are carried within the body. Okay, so we've got to get this principle and draw a demarcation line, natural, unnatural. Unnatural, there's a price to pay if you engage in unnatural elements and spend your hard-earned money to buy unnatural elements into your house. Perfect. So what about foods now? Let's go on to foods. Uh, foods, okay. What us as women yeah. are eating, what we're putting in our bodies. Yeah, well, so, so look, 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 look. Uh, it's very, very, very rare. I've, I've never seen um, a committed vegan woman, like vegan from early, early, uh, early te teens, who, who has fibroids, that doesn't really happen. So most of the fibroids come, come from high consumption of dead animals. Okay, so dead animal, um, like it's gonna have the aforementioned uh, chem chemicals, uh, you know, in, in, in the injecting to the animal, the IGF, growth hormones, but also the fact of eating dead animal uh, protein is really hard to digest and creates other major imbalances of the, in, in, the body, in the body as well. And um, uh, this does, doesn't end well. So you see a massive link between the uh, fibroids uh, and uh, animal consumption. You know, it's interesting. I, I did a, I did an interview on the radio once many, many years ago. Lady rang me, and she rang in to talk about fibroids. Uh, blah blah. How she suffered with fibroids. Then I asked her what she had for breakfast. Then she told me she had a pretty standard breakfast. And, blah, blah. and I said, well, you've just been feeding your fibroids. No, I, I think the pain. I think it, 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 it sunk in. Uh, so, so five. So another, another problem as well is the pH, the whole pH of the body. So there's specific, specific pHs where everything lots of work, work and run properly. 
So a lot of the modern diet, especially with the, the starches, and a lot of people default into eating a lot of pasta. Pasta creates huge problems. The gluten just creates havoc, system rise, every part of the body. So starches, gluten, and grains um, uh, create a lot of imbalances and disruptions and change the, the biochemistry of the body and drop the body into a pH cycle. When we get to pH, uh, the, the whole pH is uh, the body get disturbed and, and destroyed. Uh, and this creates a lot, 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 lot of problems. Now we're also seeing problems with um, radiation, high radiation damage is causing uh, problems with emails now. So um, the phone under the pillow, the phone by the bedside, the phone by the bedside causes disruption to the breast tissue. So high proximity radiation from, from the phone uh, passing across the upper part of the body all night uh, disrupts breast tissue, which further knocks another hormone imbalances because in the breast, if you've got the highest number outside of the reproductive area, um, the, 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 um, of hormone receptor tissue, you see. And then the phone, high use of phone, causes disruptions to pituitary and hypothalamus, the radiation. So I'm seeing this on a holiday basis now. Um, you know, and the worst thing, the worst thing is the uh, iPods. The iPods? Earpods. No oh. iPods. Earpods, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I don't know they're terrible. You put an earpod here, it literally directly began to fry. You literally it began to fry the uh, pituitary hypothalamus axis in the brain, which is the master controller for hormones. So the best description I ever read, um, this guy called Dr. John Lee, he used to have a lot of stuff emphasis on the internet. And he was one of the most advanced people uh, in terms of really understanding the whole female hormone balance. And he said, he made a statement, he said that if the, uh, uh, if the hormone system, the my system, is an orchestra, Imagine there are many players in this hormonal system. Many, many players. And all have to pay in harmony and work together. So an orchestra makes music and it's harmonious. Okay. He said if the, if the hormonal system is an orchestra, the pituitary gland is the conductor. Okay? So when you put a phone to the head, uh, put the earpod, you're messing up that conductor. So you get hormonal, uh, disharmony and or, or, or even chaos. And the chaos in the hormonal system is what's going to manifest as a seven day period, heavy, heavy bleeding, um, um, severe disruption, mood disorders, bloating, gas, all of this is totally abnormal. But the more we move, uh, we've seen this a lot of clients, we've seen so many clients, we're getting to move into uh, what I call normal or healthy lifestyle. Uh, and then the first sign, and this happens very, very quickly, it happened in the first, within 30 days, a lot of the uh, female troubles around menstruation start to abate. It starts to go down very, very, very quickly. So it's all cause and effect. It's happening. Cause and effect is happening in nanoseconds in the body. So everything you do, there's an immediate reaction in the body. Uh, for that, the, the, it's only the manifestation of that reaction may take time, but everything happens, uh, it's happening in nanoseconds response time in the, in the body. So we see within 30 days of making major changes, uh, the period will actually change. So henceforth, I tell, I tell, I, tell, I, I say through this message, look at the period as an index of how in order you are and how alignment you are with nature and natural forces and natural uh, molecules. Um, if the period is seven days, a lot of pain, uh, that you're in disorder and misalignment with all, with all of that. Okay? So to bring back the order, we've got to get the plant molecules in and we've got to get the chemicals uh, out uh, of the, the body. And then also look at aspects of what nutrients are low, uh, in the body. Uh, things like zinc, uh, selenium, the B vitamins. Um, and also look at how the elimination organs are working. When they're not working, there's a knock on effect where certain toxins are held in the body, which cause, uh, uh, body wide disruption. So when we move from, uh, uh, disorder state into an order state for a female, the first manifestation uh, that your body is happy with what you're doing, there will be a change in the period. Okay, and uh, you, you can you can do continuous cycles, detox cleansing order, and within three months, all of the period pains gone. Yeah, and then we get down uh, from seven day, five day periods into a three day period. So when the body's in order, and we found this, we didn't read this in textbooks. We found this by taking. Um, Taking women through um, uh, strict protocol detoxing, cleansing, purification, 
uh, changing your diet, getting enough elements, which I mentioned about the vitamin C, vitamin C destroyed by, by cooking your food. So you need high amounts of raw food for the body to work. The body doesn't understand food that's cooked. The body only really fully understands food that's in this raw or pristine state, which had no heat applied to it. So you get the amount of raw, raw food up in the diet. So let's say 70%, 60, minimum 60, 50, 60 minimum. But to overcome chance getting to 78 percent raw food, the body begins to function, has enough enzymes to, to carry out biochemical processes, and the body goes into auto repair. There's something the body does very well that repairs itself, does that very well. We're not repairing the body. Uh, we can't do that. We can only supply the wherewithal for it to heal. Then we can stop doing the things that's blocking the body from healing itself. If we achieve those two things, the body goes into repair very, very quickly. In fact, the body has a repair cycle, which is every night. Every night there's a repair cycle. Yes. Um, but a lot of people are not sleeping anymore. It's all that so can't happen to a repair cycle. So get the phones out of the bedroom and you start to sleep. There's a whole generation disorder sleep because people put phones in the bedroom. So do an experiment. Don't put phones in the bedroom. The whole sleep goes up. And while you're at it, switch off the switch off the, the, the Wi-Fi, the router, as an experiment and see if the sleep changes. When you get the deep sleep and stage three before sleep, you can go into a repair and healing cycle. Now that will manifest for, for women who are menstruating, that will manifest as the, the change in the period. The period will change, there'll be less bloating uh, and less feeding. Now when 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 uh, we found people who get very good at doing this, do this very very well, here's the shocking thing, uh there's not even that much bleeding. In fact, there's hardly any bleeding. The yeah. point the point doesn't actually want to release blood. The body wants to release what's called the endometrial lining, which is basically the mucosal lining. It wants to release that, and the body, what the body really wants to do in divine order of things, is to reabsorb the ovum, which is full of rich RNA uh, materials. It's highly complex. The body wants to reabsorb that and recycle that. It does, <laughs> doesn't want to expel it, but if it's full of toxins, chemicals, uh, dead, dead, dead carcass residue, uh, the fragrances and things, uh, chemicals and bleach, the body's going to say, whoa, out with you. And that outing is quite violent and painful and a bit uncomfortable. Uh, it seems. Uh-huh. So that's why fasting is important as well, because it resets the body. Fasting, yeah. Fasting. yeah. fasting. What, what would be the best way uh, uh, females can fast with regards to the menopause stage, if they want to fast at the same time? Yeah, so so by time, but look, look, so the menopause situation could become more complex because time when we get to menopause, let's say, menopause now is kicking, kicking in at, um, uh, me, uh, menopause now is kicking in, in at uh, 45, increasingly, yeah, but some, some women, okay, so <laughs> still going, still, still, uh, mentioning at 50. It's, it's really, it's, it's a bit, very, very big variable with what, what's happening now. Uh, but, but a lot of time back, women time got to the menopause, they got another problem from accumulated starches and carbohydrates from rice, bread, uh, and increasingly pasta now. So they've got a severe disorder of blood sugar management, which manifests as high levels of fat. Uh, even if woman is slim, she can have high levels of fat inside the blood. So it's called a triglyceride. Um, so we've got the skinny fat syndrome. Uh, there. So some of the fat is obvious, some is not obvious. Some of the people have got both syndromes. So high levels of, uh, of fat, what's called metabolic disorder, metabolic syndrome, and then don't get proper circulation uh, in the body, and then the uh, a lot of the organs, the endocrine organs, uh, are literally weakened and the nutrients. So, so by the time a woman's got some menopause, there's so many things that are out of balance in the body. There's so many things. So the menopause is just a, uh, sorry, when I say the menopause, but uh, 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 an uncomfortable menopause, it's not really that the menopause is a problem, because menopause is not a problem. Menopause is not a medical event. It's not. I don't think pharma like loves to monetize it and cash in on it. It's not an event. It's a transition of life when the body moves from childhood. Yes, nature. Yeah. yeah. But if there are underlying issues that have been going on for years, that transition becomes very, very bumpy, becomes a bumpy road instead instead of a nice, smooth transition. So blood sugar imbalances. Uh, but uh, uh, organ dysfunctions, gut disorders, uh, nutrient deficiencies, uh, these all add up and that transition it becomes uh, problems and the menopause, just like pregnancy by the way, will show up health imbalances. Okay, so pregnancy is not pathology either. 
that during pregnancy, if there are other imbalances that can start to show up during pregnancy, uh, during menopause, if there are other imbalances that can start to show up, you get the heart squirts, um, you get sleeplessness, um, you get problems in the, in the, the due to low, uh, disorder of vision, um, get the vaginal uh, dry, dryness, and uh, sex life becomes uh, a major problem. Um, which it probably was many years before that anyway, because the more problem now. You see, so these are all disorders. So, so you mentioned fasting. So fasting is one of the quickest ways to reset things in the body. It's one of the quickest ways to reset things in the body, uh, to do pattern interrupt with a normal eating, eating cycle. So many things happen during fasting. Uh, there's a psychological shift where people break that link where they have to be compulsive eating. Uh, then also fasting, where people start to control um, override over appetite and eating. Which is really powerful uh, having a strength of consciousness uh, and control. So the implications of that, uh, when the liver's not working, you cannot balance the hormones in the body. It's not not even possible. Forget about it. So the modern health profile now a lot of people got what's called fatty liver. Um, people got hepatitis. It means hepa, basically liver inflammation. Um, so from various so various liver infection. Uh, over the chemicals in the liver. So one of the things we found really balances hormones is getting the liver in order. Okay. And uh, I've got a thing, I'll put it, make that liver quiver. You know? So how do you do that? The, the liver loves bitter herbs. And see, it's the bitter herbs. You know, bitter herbs are really like burdock, which really important for the liver. Uh, urtica, which is natural, very important for the liver. Liquid, which is really important for the liver. You see, um, you know, um, uh, the, the aloe, very, very, all bitter herbs have a profound impact on the liver and get the lymph, liver dumping bile. So, the liver starts to process fats more properly, but liver can also cleanse itself. So, we're seeing a pattern where people's livers are so blocked, the liver, liver, liver can't even do its primary job of, of uh, detoxing the entire blood, blood current, you see. And this, this creates a direct impact on someone's hormonal uh, experience. And if someone's entered menopause in that state, they're going to have a really terrible menopause. So if someone enters uh, into a state with high blood sugars, they have menopausal problems. If someone enters uh, into a state of menopause and they've got like several nutrients missing, they're not enough uh, glutathione in the body, uh, there's not enough B6, because B6 is hyper important for females, because B6 is a vitamin that actually thinks uh, it's a neurotransmitter. So it actually runs the brain directly, but at the same time, it, it's a hormone. It's actually a reproductive hormone as well. It's just vitamin B6, very mysterious vitamin. So when it's like people get, get into mood problems, mood swings, and depression, uh, you know what I mean? But to enter into menopause, a lot of these imbalanced deficiencies, uh, it's a very uh, rocky and bumpy uh, road. So we, we use, I, I use, uh, specific formulas to, to get, get the liver clean, get the blood cleanse, get nutrients for it, uh, high level nutrients into the body. But also that there are a lot of, uh, uh, um, uh, the creator has blessed us with so many wonderful uh, herbs that actually can bring balance to the body. They're female herbs, uh, specifically for organizing and, and balancing uh, female structures in the body. These are plant molecules. So remember, all we're, the, all we're looking for, all we need is plants, molecules. Everything's in the plant kingdom, not the factory kingdom. <laughs> it's, it's not the man-made kingdom. All, there is no receptor site on, on any cell anywhere in the body uh, for man-made chemicals. But there are billions and billions of receptor sites, which are sites that say, hey, come come and do some work here, come, lock, come and log in here, lock onto here. Uh, the receptor sites in all over the body, in trillions and trillions of cells of the body, the plants, molecules. So we've got to have a, 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 a respectful, sacred uh, uh, appreciation of plants and the linked relationship to mm -hmm. plants. Can you give some of the plants that they could, they can start to to take for females? Yeah, it's, 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 sometimes, yeah, that's why I, I don't like saying this because people, they, they've got other problems and they go and look for well, this plant, but the plant doesn't work because you didn't do the other problem. Yeah. So, that's why it's a whole systemic approach. Uh, it's, a whole, it's a whole systemic approach of doing things rather than looking for this one thing because uh, human health has got so degraded in this time 
uh, you find that, that it's really important to do it. Publish your body as a whole system, get the valve working. Whole system, yeah. Get working from. Lots of times people uh, can have, do, do, do you know how, how important it is to have a hormone balance just for sleep? If a circadian rhythm is off and melatonin is out, that can knock out the whole hormonal profile, pro, uh, pathway. So yeah, there are female herbs. There's obviously you know about black cobosh, you know about scorvine, uh, these are herbs of renown, very, very, very powerful herbs. And we use a lot of herbs from, from Africa uh, as well, which are not within the Western pharmacopoeia uh, herbs. In. And we use these in formulas so the body can take what it wants from that formula. Um, but we never just say, yeah, take this by itself. But, but, um, I find there's some ground up dysfunctions in order. Like you've got to get, got to get the bowel moving. You've got to get the intestine moving. You've got to get the liver detox. You've got to look at other, other factors of what, what you're eating. Uh, what is the pH of the body? The pH is too low because we've not been having the plant molecules that come from vegetables. And so the highest way, the, the fastest way to rectify the whole uh, order of the biochemistry of the body is with, with, with juices, uh, vegetable juices. Okay, so look at things like, um, like things like broccoli and cauliflower uh, when added to a juice. Um, that have a lot of it. So you make a juice maybe as a base celery, cucumber, carrots. But you put like the uh, broccoli or the uh, cauliflower, these types of the crude, they're called the uh, crossword, they're called cruciferous vegetables. They contain, they contain DI, I can't pronounce it. Let's call it DIM for sure. So DIM will actually balance histones in the body. This humble broccoli and cauliflower start to balance histones. You see? So we've been sold this whole bill where we, we look down on simple solutions, but we're looking for these expensive HRT type interventions to solve the problems. Uh, well, the, all the answers there in nature. We've just got to get have this assignment every single day to get plant molecules to enter the body, and we've got to do that assignment uh, daily until we die. You know? Um, you know? and, and, it, and and the day we die is going to be a long way off if we work with plant molecules on on a, on a daily basis. The body is looking for plant molecules. You see, so this, this, this is the key thing, the key facts we're missing, and that's why I always told my clients that. Look, it's very important to go and get pH test strips. Um, I'll do markets now, so they show them. You can buy them on Amazon. They're, they're, they're uh, seven pounds. Go what are they called? Sorry, pH test. Strips. Yeah. Um, pH bank, strips. Yeah, there's a bank called Simplex. Simplex. So Simplex pH strips. Uh, you can go on Amazon and buy these. Um, they cost seven pounds. But that information you gather from doing a, a saliva test they will tell you, you can, you, can, you can see against the chart, you can see where the pH is. If the pH is acid, uh, you're running uphill. Things are actually going wrong. And it's telling you you're committing some, some um, you're committing some biochemical uh, uh, um, insults to your body because uh, the inputs are too, too acid, like the soft drinks, uh, the chemicals, the processed foods, uh, the grains, all grains create havoc in the body. Um, you know, and there's a severe lack of vegetables and a severe lack of low sugar fruits like the berries. You see? So I think that going to berry well, you know, we've got the berries are highly beneficial. So raspberry, female heart. Raspberry leaf, female heart. Strawberry, strawberry leaf, highly beneficial from that. So there's, there's actually an abundance of elements and foods which are hyper beneficial um, for hormones. Sex of Yoruba culture, there's no dichotomy or uh, I think that, that we can have yam for breakfast in one form, we can have yam for lunch, and have yam for supper. You know, in different forms of yam. You know, there's no, there's no normal with like, you know, yam. <laughs> but the thing about yam, yam is the ultimate superfood for the black race. Yes. Yeah, because yam contains five hormone precursors. So a precursor, is a substance the body will take to make something else. Okay, so all the precursors for progesterone, DHEA, testosterone, estrogen, all in yam. Now, the problem is we have a generation of uh, uh, people now now rejecting yam and opting for pasta. Yeah, and they now see something as yam as something oldie from their parents' generation, you know, we moved on now. Uh, we just put yam, we just pass it in, it takes one minute to cook. All uh, right, two minutes to cook. This yam, they have to cut it and peel it, put it apart, wait, no. Yeah, this generation, digital generation, have rejected yam um, with huge consequences. So I told the younger people, I said, tell them, look, look, 
did your ancestors get strong and they would just stand here now eating pasta? And they all agree no. Okay. Now, Yam is amazing. I'll tell, I'll tell I'll a couple of interesting stories. I, I've had um, ladies that have like, such severe hormone imbalance, they got they got hair uh, here. You know? And we get them to eat the, the, the Yam. Now, I'm one of the first people to work with Yam, Yam juice. You can actually take Yam, the actual Yam, and ju- run it through a juicer. Mm-hmm. Other vegetables or with pineapple. Pineapple helps break up the enzymes and all. And drink yam, just have a chunk of yam, having your juice. Yes. It actually tastes quite nice. And you don't actually, uh, you know, it will balance hormones in the body so fast. Okay, I'm actually developing some products with this. It's called Snot Apple. <laughs> wow. Snot Apple, it comes, from, it comes from West Africa. And it's actually a fruit. It's like it's a very slippery and slimy, but it's a fruit. And um, yeah, that does wonders for, for women, especially for female navigation. Uh, you know, snot apples. I'm starting to start making uh, products uh, that based on that. So there's an abundance of things which enable us to be uh, in good order for many, 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 many years beyond. So far. now I've seen, I've seen, I've seen women 55, 50 going strong still men, still men to it. You know. So we're in a context of when, when does when does um, when does um, menopause kick in? Yeah, this this is it's not um it's not what, what they say really. And you find that the, the more um people are having uh, uh an industrial type experience with artificial products, uh the more disorder and havoc is. And the earlier that starts, so a lot of times women now forty forty five bank administration. And if they're not, they're begging they're begging they're begging for men yeah. because of the the information you've just given in this session has just been absolutely amazing and i know that it's going to really support and help a lot of females with regards to the younger lot as well you know yeah, yeah. not even the younger lot they always say it's never too late don't think oh i'm this age now so it, it's too late for me you know our body doesn't know age in that way yeah you know? it may take longer to respond, yeah. but, respond. But, but it will respond and and I, and I think the information that you are, I don't think, I know the information that you're giving, that you have given, is really going to make a difference because uh, just about the, the chemical side, you know, that's something that women can start to do from that today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me go online. Let me just, and I, do you know what I love what you said about doing it as a, do a 30 day trial. Yeah. You know, just 30 days. Take away all your cleaning products, buy alternative cleaning products from online, or if you want to try and make it yourself, you can do it as a little, you know, a project, whatever it is, and give yourself 30 days, yeah. you know, and because you will, I'm telling you, I know I've done it, you know, and I haven't looked back. You you get to a stage where you won't look back, and even if you tip in, you put your toes back in, you see the difference, and straight okay. away you're like, oh. Now you look, you look, you look, you look so well. So I must say, you look well. You got, you got the health glow on you. It's really, really good. And I can actually say, you actually look younger than when I met you. Uh, you know? And this is a possibility uh, when we have the disciplines in place. You actually slow this. You, you first, you stop the aging process, then you start to reverse it. One of the biggest things that causes hormonal balance is just eating good food. You see, so um, um, you got to get your diet. So only 20% of what you eat is good. If you, if you go over 20%, that's where you get these imbalances. So you get into eating the food as raw. So what's raw food? Avocado is raw. Tomato is raw. Mangoes are raw. Olives are raw. Uh, bananas are raw. Uh, you know, fruit, a salad is raw. Uh, um, you know, so we get to the thing, we're eating a lot of our diet as uncooked, okay? The body just loves this. The body begins to flourish under its conditions. It uh, starts to get age reversal, you know? And um, and the first, I find one of the first beneficiaries when you make a major shift in health, do like a long fast, detox, cleanse. The first beneficiary, hormonal system. There's a lady called Leslie Kenton, uh, and I think she's worthy of mention as well. Um, you know, I, I can't remember the book, but she, there's a lady called Leslie Kenton, and she's got a book. Um, it's something, it's something power. I can't remember the first name. Something power, I think. Uh, and she has a lot to say about raw raw plant molecules 
under um, menopause in, in that book. Um, let, look, look for Le Leslie Kenton. And thank you so much for this time and yeah. you know and reaching out to to, to us to us because we, we need the support we want the support we want the love you know and we can't do this alone and coming together that's what we need all right it's been a pleasure but if, 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 if there's a takeaway i'd like to leave is the last word is that uh nobody has to, doesn't have to suffer with any health problem we just got to start doing the changes and ask the honest question what am i doing wrong which laws am i in violation of and also understand explicitly and 100 percent there is no medical system no medical product uh, that can, is going to solve the problem for you